We saw this video on YouTube and decided we had to try it ourselves. In the experiment, the guy drops matches into a milk bottle and places an egg on top. After the matches burn out, the egg is sucked into the bottle. How did that egg get sucked into the bottle? Most people think that matches burn up the air, creating a partial vacuum, which sucks the egg into the bottle. However, burning air produces CO2, also known as carbon dioxide, and soot, so that wouldn't create a vacuum. We decided to, to prove or disprove this vacuum by burning theory. So, we had a hunch that the heat was more important than the burning air. Then we thought of ways that we could heat the bottle's contents without burning air. That would prove that the matches would have nothing to do with it. We filled a milk bottle with water and heated it in a microwave. Then, we dumped out the water and placed our egg on top. When the air in the bottle is heated, it wants to rise. It tries to find a way out of the bottle. The easiest way is past the egg blocking the top. It makes its way past the egg in small bubbles. So you end up with less air in the bottle than you started with because it expanded. When the air in the bottle cools, the air contracts with its expanded size and creates a partial vacuum because the air that left the bottle can't get back in. The egg is sucked into the partial vacuum. The air pressure outside the bottle is greater than that in the bottle, so it pushes the egg into the bottle to equalize the pressure. See you next time! I'll take the egg out. Ready? Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to push the little black button forward. That little black button. Oh, forward? forward? Yes. Oh, that's the point. There you go. Ah. Get ready with your egg. There you go. Well, you know it. Yep, for a while. We saw a video on YouTube, but instead we had to try it ourselves. Okay. We one saw more. a video on YouTube! One more time. But, so, that's going to be a problem.